it's funnel aka fat guyver aka big f straight out of espo finland i wanted to show you how you can use the nice side chaining functionality for third party plugins in ableton live 10.1 by the time of me doing this it's not out yet but should be out pretty soon so i've created clashing subs with a kick and a sub I could look at the frequencies clashing with uh, Multi-Analyzer XL from Isotonic. Yep, clashing they are. So what am I going to do? I will use some nice third-party sidechain capable plugins to actually reduce the clashing. So now I actually did have a plugin on that did do that earlier. So let's listen to the clashing. It's a bit of an undefined mess. Obviously, I could use Ableton Live plugins for tackling this, and I want to use something by FabFilter first. Let's get ProQ3. So, how do you activate Sidechain for this? Well, just get it from the drop down menu. So, for the bass, I'm going to get Kick as my source. So now sidechaining for Pro-Q3 is activated. I could now see the frequencies here. By the way, let's get rid of this. That's my default stuff. So as you can see, the kick is pumping here, covering the same sub frequencies as the bass. Let's make it dock. So I'll create an EQ node. It could be like this shape would be pretty useful and just pull down on the automatic dynamic ring here and to activate that for sidechain i will click on this icon and this will give me sidechain okay i don't think it sounds great i know but just to show you how it's done. Another great third-party plugin for docking is this Dynamic EQ by Melda. So let's get a VST, that'll work, and I will activate sidechain. Let's open the band and let's activate sidechain for this band. Here, here it is, man. Now, Still got to activate some dynamic action for it. And I have to activate sidechain here. Let me see. And also nothing's happening. And the reason is I didn't select the source. So check this out. So third party sidechaining 10.1 is done by this you get the signal in from the sidechain menu and then you do whatever settings you have to do in the plugin and get rocking oh and if you didn't know my ableton live basics video is out now see the link in the description to my web shop and get it if you like to learn how ableton live works